Can I start, Dr. Neeraj? Yes. Okay. So, hi, everyone. Uh, good evening uh, to everybody here and welcome to another session of Umang. Uh, I assume this is the first session of this year. Uh, I'm Dr. Nandana Tati. I'm a consultant health psychologist in Jupiter Hospital. Uh, I am the co-host for today, along with uh, Dr. Taral Nagra, uh, who himself is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon and a gadget enthusiast himself. So uh, we have started Umang, which has been a platform for doctors by the doctors. Uh, it's a brainchild of Dr. Sar Gauri Saroj with her dedication and her initiative and a lot of contributions from all the doctors comprising of Team Umang. We have done around 12 sessions uh, over a period of a year on various interesting topics. So anybody who is interested here could access all these sessions either on platforms like YouTube or uh, Facebook, I suppose. There are uh, videos uploaded there. So the topic of today is about what's happening, which is how to increase our productivity using WhatsApp and other apps probably. Uh, so here, digital literacy among all our uh, health professionals is extremely important for us in healthcare. Uh, you can actually have the most technologically advanced device in the world, but if you don't know how to operate it, it would be as useful as having an aeroplane without a pilot. So we all, somewhere or the other, find ourselves technologically challenged on a, in our daily practices. Sometimes even basic apps become very difficult for us to handle, especially the electronic health record systems and all. Uh, get very challenging over a period of time. So today we will be focusing on how to enhance the use of these gadgets in medicine. So let's learn how to master these di digital techniques and let's make them more resourceful for all the doctors out here. So as it is post-COVID, uh, the pandemic has been really working as a catalyst for us uh, in the advancement and adoption of the telemedicine that is there. So brace yourselves and let's begin. I think today I'm going to be introducing uh, two of our speakers. Uh, one, Dr. Taral Nagra, uh, and I request Dr. Taral, who will be uh, introducing Dr. Neeraj Bijlani, who is a special guest and speaker for today. Uh, Dr. Taral Nagra is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon uh, and going to various hospitals like SRCC, Jupiter, Hinduja, and Sefi. He's a director of Jupiter CP Clinic, the director of Jupiter Gate Analysis Lab. Uh, his orthopedic interests are majorly uh, pediatric hip, cerebral palsy, and deformity correction. Uh, he has a, quite a unique personality and has special interests apart from orthopedics too, where he's a huge gadget enthusiast, uh, very interested in farming and reading. So I would like to request Dr. Taral to introduce our special guest for today, uh, Dr. Neeraj Bijlani. Uh, over to you, Dr. Taral. Yeah, so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Neeraj Bijlani, who is a friend, an orthopedic surgeon, and a gadget freak. Uh, he's a tech-savvy person. And many times uh, in orthopedic conferences, you know, or, or medical meetings when he's talking about gadgets or technology. One has to say that he's also an orthopedic surgeon besides being a tech guru. Uh, he has a practice, uh, his own nursing home at Jambur, but uh, he's been pioneer of a lot of initiatives. An initiative called uh, Bombay Orthopedic Society's uh, Technology Skills Course, which me and Neeraj started many years back uh, and it still goes as an annual course and widely attended. Uh, he also is uh, has set up something called as Ortho TV, which is largest in the world online online resource for orthopedic education, having more than uh, twenty to twenty five thousand videos on its platform. And uh, in last two years, uh, Ortho TV has created a record of sort you know, by going globally and uh, creating knowledge base for orthopedic surgeons 
all over the world in pandemic situation. So uh, more about Neeraj, you will know from his talk itself. So Neeraj, over to you. We are really looking forward to uh, uh, learning and interacting with you. Uh, I think today what he's going to cover is just one facet of what we sort of discuss in a day. And uh, he's going to show just one facet. All of us use WhatsApp, but how we can use it more effectively more creatively and more intelligently. Over to you, Neeraj. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the kind introduction. So we started the computer skills course that was how it was known as in 2011 for Bombay Orthopedic Society. It was the first type of course, basically. And we have taken it all over India and now because of Zoom all over the world. And this, uh, I thank Umang uh, that uh, to invite me for this as faculty. So I just start. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is on WhatsApp 2022. I'm going to show some features basically of WhatsApp, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I am sure that everybody uses this. As Dr. Taraz said that after this talk, you may think that is he an orthopedic surgeon? As Gauri was asking me, are you basically, how do you know all this? So I'm also an orthopedic surgeon. I still have a practice in my clinic and I am a director of Ortho TV Global Private Limited. So with this, let me show you first that there was in last year, in the beginning of the year, there was a lot of hassles where the privacy policy update came that where they say that the WhatsApp suddenly gave you a pop-up and you had to agree. There was no disagree button in that. We are updating our terms and service. So you will be able to, so what did WhatsApp change? So you can remove or block businesses from your contacts. So the difference was that, that if you are using Facebook, so WhatsApp started communicating your data with Facebook business owners if they are using WhatsApp business owners. But there was no change for a personal WhatsApp chat. And of course, you always had, they started giving a new option that you could download the whole report of WhatsApp. Okay, what is WhatsApp exactly sharing? So as I said that the personal charts personal chats with your family and friends will never change. So that still remain private. That is what they are saying. Location, Vagera, this is all nothing will be shared by Facebook. Only if you are chatting with a WhatsApp business owner who is using a WhatsApp business app for with which, which I'll be describing a little in detail later can will be shared with the Facebook people. Otherwise it will not be shared. That is what they are saying. You still have full control over your data. You can, of course, block your business that I'm going to talk. That is going to be my first slide. So what I gave an option, there were many of my friends who just suddenly left WhatsApp and they switched over to Telegram. They switched over to an app called Signal. And within a few months, they realized in what I say very commonly. Don't that you hear about know, WhatsApp? Somebody pardon? is giving a lecture. No. Hello? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So uh, what I said is that basically uh, that the final sentence was your acceptance of a new terms of service does not increase WhatsApp ability to share data with its parent company because they're already doing it. So that is one. So how do you save yourself in 2021 and 2022 from protecting your personal data? So these were the things which WhatsApp added new features. Main thing was that you can set your messages to disappear. So now you can have a default that after 90 days or seven days or one month, the messages will just go away from the chat. Earlier, it was only for groups. Now it is for anyone or even by default, you can set. They remain private unless you make it public. So there are these small, small things. Uh, you can always ask me a question in the middle. So, but before that, I would like to show you what should you do to protect your privacy in 2022. So most important is privacy settings. You should change that. So if you have a phone in your hand, pick up your phone, open WhatsApp in that and do these settings with me. Now you have to go into this menu. How do you go into this menu? You see at the bottom, there is something called as settings in iPhone and on an Android on the top, there are three dots. You click on that and you reach the WhatsApp settings. This is after you open WhatsApp. Once you go there, then let me show you live. So it will be easier for you to understand. So let me open my WhatsApp chat live. I go into settings. So then I get this menu, which you can see in front of you. Then there is something called as account. I go into account and then there is something called as privacy. Go into privacy. So these are my privacy settings. And if you see my last scene is nobody. Last scene is that time. 
what happens is that sometimes in the middle of the night or just before sleeping or just getting up in the morning i pick up my whatsapp automatically i don't want them people to know that i was in the, awake in the middle of the night at 3:45 am and i was on whatsapp my profile photo is to everyone but you can you have an option of saving it to my contacts i have kept it to everyone because i am in such a profession that i want them to see my photo and always keep my photo as my solo photo i don't keep my children's photo i don't keep my wife's photo or anything else you can either keep it as an abstract or you keep it as your profile photo if you are in a public profession but if you are in a job and you are not in a public profession you can always hide it and keep it to my contacts so only your contacts who are saved in your phone can see it then about about again i have kept it for everyone because this is something like that i want them to know because this is my about supposing they are not able to contact me i have kept an alternative numbers where they can contact for an appointment that is why i about i want for everyone to be known then i go into sorry then the next step is status status is something like a instagram reel which you want to update or you want to update the status so that is the which you have to i have excluded few people you can either keep it for your contacts or you can exclude some people sometimes i don't want many people to see mine so i have excluded those live location always should be on whatever be it if if you keep the live location on that means where you are anybody can track on whatsapp so you should always keep it on and if you see my blocked contacts there are 237 contacts i've just blocked they can be contacts who are contacting me for credit card for bank for sales or whatever so i've just blocked them or some people are irritating me then there is a default message timer which i was talking about disappearing messages so you can keep all your messages to disappear in 24 hours 7 days 90 days or off i prefer to keep it off my whatsapp data is very important to me then this is the most important thing the double blue tick so if you see it is off but whatsapp in this way plays a very fair game they say that basically aap apna nahi dikhaoge to hamara bhi nahi dekh sakte ho means if you keep your read receipts off matlab to fir aapko kisi ka bhi double blue tick nahi dikhega but i will show you a way how to still see it if you desperately want to see it and screen lock maine facebook pe oh, that i have kept it off earlier i kept it on but because of the lockdown we are wearing mask so i have kept the screen lock on of you can use a face id or you can use a touch id if you are if your phone phone has a touch fingerprint then you can keep it on so that nobody can open your whatsapp so this is basically the privacy settings i would like to take some questions here if you have uh niraj can i ask a question yes yes sir go ahead yes. yeah 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 so you know man, many times whatsapp does have sensitive data in that case how can you you know are there any other security measures you can apply apart from the screen lock hmm. is there anything you can do uh, you know so that no one else beside you can access or so open because android, your phone when yeah. we are operating sometime yeah hmm. the phone lies in the ot anyone else may be operating your phone how do you do that yes so there are two things which you can do one is that ke your phone has to have a password naturally password or the fingerprint or the face id whatever you want it so you have to have minimum that much second is in a android and iphone both there is now a setting in the main phone i'll just show you in the iphone how it is appears but in the android also it is there so you go into the security settings and there is sorry not this one so there is one settings in notifications that show notifications if the screen is locked see this show previews so you can sorry show previews so when unlocked, if the phone is locked you can't be able to see the previews so when when the person in the when the person in the ot like your assistant or what boy sees your phone also he will just see that there is a whatsapp message come but when he tries to open it he will not be able to open it if there is a password so that is what you can do that the same applies to android also why do you guys shut up hello welcome this is in the
Please nut yourself please nut yourself we are not being group we do not nut nut There is a problem there are some uh, people who have entered this room to enter let, let us take them out Start removing them. Hello, hello. Please mute yourself. Ting 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 ting. Hello, sir. Your computer is not working. Your hello, number. Your computer is not working. It has. I am trying to mute all of them. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Neeraj, yeah. we are not yes. able to hear you. Yeah, yeah, now you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've changed the security setting. Basically, some people, I think this must have gone on uh, multiple groups. Now. That is why it, there's some un unknown people have joined in. Okay, yeah, now so I think it's on. okay. So let's remove two, three people. Just a minute. Hold on, please. Uh, make Dr. Taral Nagda. Uh, yeah. the co-host okay so i have also removed it there is one person from zoom that person also has to go out okay why am i not able to make him the host co-host co-host you have to make him co-host not host uh... who's suresh do you know Suresh? No. Okay, just we'll remove it. I'm not able to make him the co-host or the host. Gauri? Do you have that option? Gauri should be able to do it. Yeah, I'll, I have done it. Yeah, okay, okay. So we'll continue with this. Okay, now no one else can enter. Okay. So, uh, this is, uh, so you change, uh, any doubts? Huh? Dr. Taral was asking me. Sanvi, uh, Gauri, you'll have to little bit pay attention. Sanvi has raised her hand, so Sanvi needs to unmute. No, I think these are again. There is one question here. Uh, yes. We should read receipts in WhatsApp off or on? Read receipts should be off. Harsh has raised his hand. So okay. Don't add anyone now. Let them be in no, the no. waiting room. Don't add anyone new. Okay. We'll not allow anyone to start the video also now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, continue. Let's continue. Yeah. Okay, so now we go to, uh, we were talking about, uh, anybody wants to ask questions, they have to ask in the chat box. Make Dr. Taral Nagda's other account also co-host Gauri, then we'll continue. So the next part is a private group. So make your own private group, send or forward messages to that group and read messages later at peace. I'll just show you what exactly is this. So if you see, I have a group called read later. And what is the purpose of this also? I'll tell you. 
the main purpose is that ki when you uh, uh, when you uh, see, uh, basically get up in the morning and uh, see a lot of whatsapp messages which have come to you you want them to be given uh, to the you want to read the article you want to see the youtube video but then then you go get back into work and that message is just lost forever and it may be some interesting video so how do you save those either you save it in your gallery but then again uh, searching for it becomes a big hassle because the pdf will get saved separately the video will get saved separately and the photo will get saved separately so what i do is that i make a group only of me and forward it to myself i'll just show you how it is done so i'll just open whatsapp you can do it with me go into settings and uh, then you make a new group in the android on the top 3 you can make a new group so you go into new group and uh, say for example i will add taral only in this group new group and then i'll group ka name rakh dunga reading later and then i'll create that group so i have created a group with one of my friends and then i go inside the group and see there are only two people in the group so what i will do is that i'll remove the second person that is in this case dr taral nagda from the group so i am the only member of this group so in the morning if you like that you want to save these messages and you want to send this to anyone send the different messages to anyone you can just keep on forwarding that i'll show you i have two groups like that one is read later where i have send all the forwards which i want to read later it could be website links it could be some materials which i want to read later or i want to save could be some videos so there are small small things like this which i like to save here then second is that many people nowadays ask for a pan card aadhar card for whatever various purposes bank people so i have got insurance copies so i have saved everything here see this is my car insurance my mediclaim policy so this is my documents folder where i save all my documents and then the only thing is that you have to remember that if you change your phone that this data will go away unless you have taken a backup so if you are using an android phone take a backup regularly on the phone and if you are using a uh, this phone then take a backup on the uh, google drive or icloud uh, the request is the host should not make anyone admit from the admit room please it's a request yes. hmm. you know okay please it's a so there are two more people who need to come out one is dr sunil and one is anshika just a minute let me remove them this person also has to come out what i will do is that i think i'll lock the room only na so nobody else can try also coming in so this is a lesson in you know zoom attack security uh, yes uh, security you should yeah. not be forwarding so, it everywhere link yeah, yeah don't link forward everywhere. the link hmm. dr vaibhav keskar you know and what i would also request is people who are logging in as iphone and things like that will give them 2 minutes to actually shift to their names otherwise we are going to remove them from the room so there are people who have logged in as uh, iphone no this is come not from them. this is not come from this uh zoom uh yeah uh this has come from the zoom link ka jo whatsapp sab jagah pe forward hota hai na usse bhi aaya hoga yeah yeah so, yeah i understand yeah. i understand so because we do regularly this zoom webinars outside theek hai anyway i think this I is clean now lock the room now i think that is the only way out yeah yeah lock the room yes ओके ठीक है तो वी कैन गो हेड वी कैन प्रोसीड नाउ सो एनी डाउट्स अबाउट द प्राइवेट ग्रुप डॉक्टर तरल यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग इन दिस सो दी सो दीस आर वेरी यूजफुल द प्राइवेट ग्रुप्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सम मोर सॉर्ट ऑफ यूजर्स ऑफ दिस प्राइवेट ग्रुप कैन आई just uh, so private groups are one person groups you know that when every group has to have more than one member but by creating a group and deleting all of the members you make a single member group 
and i use it uh, for various other purposes i think after neeraj's talk i'll share a screen and show you some more interesting uses of private group which i use actually in day to day practice neeraj you can go ahead okay then we come to basic photo editing in android in iphone and in android both you can do some basics of photo editing also just by inside the whatsapp app so you can crop the photo you can make the photo black and white and you can even mark up the photo let me show you a x ray here so you see this x ray looks very blue in this and uh, plus there is a patient identity in this so i want to hide it so if i want to hide it what should i do i will just go and crop it so i'll just uh, select the edit option in this and then i remove the patient identity then this is blue so once i just swipe up i get these options of filters so i just put a black and white filter and it becomes black black and white this looks like a very neat and tidy x ray and if i want to mark and show that where is the fracture this is where i can mark also and i can even type a text that is a mal united fracture once i have typed the text i'll just make it small put it in one small place this can also be used if you are using photography this can also be used as your own watermark so that if anybody forwards this photograph it will remain like this so i am writing my name also so if anybody wants to use it in their presentation there will be my name in it so this is some basic simple photo editing let me show it to you live so i'll go here and maybe i'll in the umang group only let me post it and uh, i'll maybe take a photograph which recently i have taken so maybe something like this okay and it looks very odd like these photographs now i'll show you how we do it so do you see on the top right there are see four columns or four options so i press on the first option and then i edit it and i can take it like this this is it now i have click on done now i want to edit the color of it doesn't still look perfectly black and white so i'll just use my finger and swipe up when i swipe up i get these options i would like to select black and white in this and then i want to say put a arrow or mark up in this so i can do like this or i can do like this you don't need any pen for it i've done it with the finger and then if i want to write text on it i can always write text like i want to write my name like a watermark so once i have written my text then i can always pinch it make it very small so that it doesn't disturb and it remains in one corner and then i can send it so i will also send the original photo so you will understand the difference how is the original photo different from this so you see these these are two different photographs but basically the same photograph i edited it inside whatsapp no other photo editing app required now many times you require to hide the patient's identity so supposing if you want to do that there is one very easy way to do it let me show you for example this is my photograph uh, own uh, anesthetist photograph i was just making fun of him see sitting outside and just using his phone during the surgery so if i want to hide his face so what i will do is that i'll put a emoji on it I'd like to put this emoji so face is hidden so you don't know who he is swati knows who he is but everybody else don't know so that is how you can do basics of photo editing you can even of course if you want to put something like a not a emoji for example you want to put something like a square on it so you can of course put a square also so i would like to select maybe a black color and i can draw a square and i can do like this but this doesn't look so neat this also is a possibility but this doesn't look so neat that looks much better i feel and of course you have a lot of choices of emojis which you can put like this there are nowadays stickers also earlier there were no stickers now you can stickers on the phone room sale This is sorted out. This ah, water no, level no, issue. Actually, don't think use as a kama hai. So these it are the multiple ways you can send photographs. Now, some time, some people have sent you photograph. In iPhone, it is very easy. You can even edit that photograph on there and there, and then send it back to him by pointing it out like this. 
like this is the last one which I sent. So this was received from me and then send it there. But in Android, you it is a little process. You will have to share that photograph and then bring it back to the WhatsApp chat and then do the editing. That is the only difference in iPhone and Android. So this is how it works. And uh, the basics of we can do video editing on WhatsApp. So sorry. Slide got. So let me show you this, how the video editing is done. Just a demo first. I click on my friend. We have done the surgery together. And then I go in the message and I hit tab on this. Attachment and then I just select a video. So this looks like a video. I open that video. I want to make it more. So the first part is that on the top, you can little bit crop the video from the front and the end. You cannot crop the middle part. If you want to crop the middle part, you have to send it in two parts. Two videos means. So you have to just crop a little bit here and there. And of course, you can always mark up a video also. Something like this, which I have done. I want to write a text. So what is this video about? So this becomes like a watermark inside the video. Extraction. Tick adjust so that it doesn't disturb the main body. And also, you can add a caption, similar name. So, so Nira, this is very useful. Uh, suppose you know uh, somebody uh, has taken a video in drop, and you want to send it to a colleague, or you want to send show it to patients, you know, relatives. Sometimes, what has been done, it allows you to mark. Particular areas and it's very important, and 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 this can be done instantaneously. You know, you don't yes. have to go to a video editing app, yeah. but this can be done with your phone on WhatsApp itself and send it through WhatsApp. There are some new features of video editing which uh, the WhatsApp came out. Let me show you. Somebody actually left this group thinking that this group is getting spammed. I don't know who he is. Can you identify this number? Who left the group? So I'll just maybe try to put a video. Let's see if I can find a video. I have not taken a much videos recently. These videos are not. Ah. So this is a full MRI video, which I had taken and sent it to my friend. So let me edit this. So how you can do the editing of the video. I can do this. So I can remove the first part of the video. Then I, or if I want, I can remove the last part of the video. And then if I want, I can crop it also. So I don't want to show the patient identity. I can crop this video like this. So only this part will come. Then uh, once I click on done, and again, if I want, I can filter it. So I made the video black and white, same thing. And I can, of course, put a mark on it, like a markup, something like this. I can, of course, mm -hmm. then play it. The issue is that this mark basically travels with that. If you have the video, this mark will only work if your camera is stagnant. But because my camera is moving, this mark is also traveling. So that is why it is not applicable. But you see, these are the small, small features that the blue video has become a black and white video. So basics of video editing can be done. Advanced features are not there, but at least some many very basics can be finished off in the WhatsApp itself. So this is video editing on WhatsApp. Then we go to photo view once. That is a very good feature which came out in 2021. So this feature has been there with Snapchat people who have been using it and you can just send the photo which you can view only once. Let me show you people are in the group, a live demo again. I'll go in WhatsApp again in this group and I'll take a photo. Say maybe I want to send this ice cream photo and I don't want you to see more than once. So I'll just click on one here on the right side. You see that it became one. See this, it became dark. And when I send it, just Gauri try to open the photo in the group. And you'll be able to view it only once. Once you have opened it, it's be written open. So you'll not have access to the photograph. This can be used for uh, maybe important documents or I don't know really what is the purpose in my uh, practice, but basically I can, this is a feature which is there. This is more, I think will be used by teenagers and youngsters than us. So this is the photo view only once. Then we come to the main thing, the WhatsApp business. So people who run their own practice or who don't want to share WhatsApp numbers with everyone, you can have another app downloaded from the Play Store and the App Store, which is called WhatsApp Business. Just go to Play Store, App Store, download another app. Of course, you will need another number for it. It can be the separate number on the same phone. This I have kept only for patients and it is set up on my assistant's phone. 
and the features like clinic timings, maps, timings, catalog, short links, a lot of there. Let me show you some features which I use. So there is first thing is that QR code. So you can, I've displayed the QR code outside my, in my stationery. So anybody wants to do WhatsApp, they don't have to save the number. They just scan the QR code and reach my WhatsApp directly. And when they reach my WhatsApp, this is what they see that this is my uh, doc, They will see this Dr. Neeraj Bijlani Orthotech Clinic. They will see the timings. So it's, today it is closed. So it's opens at 5 PM and then Friday, 5 PM to 7 PM today. That is a Friday ka screenshot. So it is a current screenshot. It will show the address. It will show my email address, my website, and even my Google map link. So anybody wants to reach me directly, it is much easier if they just have my number, they have all this data. So that is how WhatsApp business works. There are some features like catalogs. So if you are into specialized surgeries like plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, or doctor, like Dr. Tharal, who's into specialized pediatric orthopedics, they can basically make a catalog of the various surgeries which they do and put it there for the, like a present, like a PDF. So with that catalog, the number also travels if anybody wants to share. Let me show you how it is different. So these are the business tools. This is a catalog thing. So if I want to add any new cat item in the catalog, I'll just add new item and then I'll choose the photo. So this is a say supracondylar humerus fracture I have chosen here with the post-op result and the pre-op and intra-op x-rays and findings. So I choose all these photographs from my gallery. These, this is a case done by Dr. Mandar Agashi, who's also a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. And then I just write supracondylar fracture, humerus. So for anybody who's viewing it, will be able to view this. Of course, WhatsApp takes some time to approve these things. So you may have to wait before it is approved. And of course, keep the price always open. Do not disclose the price. It doesn't look good. So don't keep the price there. You can put the description in whatever you want that this is that needs a urgent surgery, something like that. So patients understand this. Some people just like to open the WhatsApp and just go through the catalog. So it will be like a things which you do. It will be like a mini website of yours if you make catalogs. Once you click on save, so you have to write India only because the country of origin is there. So just write India and finish it off. Save. You see this? So it becomes like a full display of your case. So you can display all the cases which you do regularly in this. And there is greeting message and quick replies and WhatsApp. There are some, some extra, extra features which I feel that you should, once you take it, you explore it. Then there is something called as web WhatsApp. So in web WhatsApp, what we do is that uh, we can use it on the Chrome browser. I use it more popularly on the Chrome browser. You see that web WhatsApp. And now in 2022, it allows you to use it on multiple devices. So you see link a device as you were maybe observing that you must have received a notification that this event is live now on Ortho TV and it has gone to so many different and two people are accessing my WhatsApp. So one of my assistant is accessing my WhatsApp on his computer and he sends forwards to all my groups when I'm working. So basically you can hire, if you have an assistant or a receptionist who can take care of this. There you know, are lots of WhatsApp nonsense comes. So a WhatsApp business account can be set up in their desktop or laptop and they can take care of those things. So it becomes easy so that you don't have to answer. There is no delay. So with this, I... Just want to give a last one tip, WhatsApp without saving phone number. So you can open the browser Chrome on Android or Safari on iPhone and type the following wa.me slash 91, not a plus 91 slash 91. That is a country code. And then you put the number and then you just enter. And then once you press enter, you will be able to directly reach on WhatsApp and chat with the person without saving the number. wa.me, that is whatsapp.me. And then it will tell you to just open. I'll just open WhatsApp. And once I click on open in WhatsApp, you see it just starts the chatting. I can type the message. The number is not saved. Somebody else. It's privacy setting is not on. Photo can be seen. So this is how you can send the WhatsApp message directly without saving the phone number.
So this is all from my side. If you want to know more tech tips, you do, do join our Telegram and WhatsApp group called OrthoTech. You can write to me on this email address or you can message me, WhatsApp me on the mobile number. I leave this slide open and I hand over to Dr. Taral Nagda to take over from here. Okay, so hi. Hi, Neeraj. Thanks for that. Uh, so, you know, uh, this that was the, you know, how we can use WhatsApp in a much uh, better way uh, in day-to-day -day life. Uh, there'll be some questions people will have, uh, but I'm going to show you a few of the things uh, where I use WhatsApp. Uh, for for uh, you know medical purposes, so one is a WhatsApp library, and all of us uh, need to have a library of uh, articles, and the articles are uh, into different uh, categories, and and you can do it in various ways. You know you can do it through a Google Drive. There are various other ways, but this is one of the ways I use uh, because it helps me in. Uh, sort of sharing that article very quickly, you know, with my colleagues, with my students, and for me to read. So what is WhatsApp library? Again, it's it's a, you know, a, a personal sort of a group. What is a personal group? So personal group, you make like this, uh, as, as Niraj has shown you, you form a group. And the name of this group, say, is supracondylar fracture. So to form a group, you need two people. So you add another colleague onto the group. And uh, this can be, you know, a colleague, orthopedic surgeon, or uh, your fellow, or anybody, uh, and then form that group so that that library is accessible to that entire group. And then everyone, anyone reads an article about supracondylar fracture, you save that article uh, by sending onto the group, so it remains in the group media. Okay, so advantage of WhatsApp library is that uh, once you form a group and share an article. If you go to the image library, if you go to the document library, you will get the entire list of those articles. And if you want to search an article, you use WhatsApp search. For example, I want to search compartment syndrome in supracondylar fracture. So if it's there in the in the title of the article, and if you have if I type the if I've saved that file with that name, it will immediately show me that article, and I can uh, click on it and open it as a PDF. So uh, this is something which can be easily shared across various groups uh, you are on. You can share it with your residents, uh, 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 colleagues, patients, and this becomes a uh, WhatsApp library for me. I also use WhatsApp as an electronic medical record system. Uh, and what you can do is again, make a group with patient's name. So if you don't want to keep patient's name, you can give a code number. And every time you see a patient, the uh, prescription of the patient, uh, you click and say, share it on the group. Every time I uh, see a report, you can click and share it on the group. The X-ray, CM, MRI images can be shared on the group. If I'm operating the patient, intraop photos can be shared on the group. Uh, Dr. Supe, if he's doing a laparoscopy, he can share a laparoscopy photos or videos on the group. An advantage is it creates a timeline. And uh, all this can, you know, be seen on patient's timeline. So there are two strategies for using WhatsApp as a electronic health record system. You can use WhatsApp as a dump ground where all the photos and videos taken by your clinic's team can be dumped on a WhatsApp dump ground and then sorted out. But better strategy is to have a, a case record with each patient. And advantage is whenever you know, I'm making a presentation for a particular patient, I want to use it in my PPT. All these images are available to me from my phone or on my desktop through WhatsApp web. So uh, uh, WhatsApp being used as a EHR. Uh, third uh, interesting use of WhatsApp is a secretary. You can use WhatsApp as a speech to text device. And again, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we can do is uh, make a group. And here I've group made a group called myself. And I'm again showing you how to make a single person group here. So you, I'm creating a new group and uh, you add another person onto the group. And when you remove that person uh, from the group, uh, you're left with yourself. So this group's name is myself. And then what can be done is you want to type anything. Uh, all you do is uh, 
uh, you know send the voice text you know on the whatsapp you see uh, uh, a command where you can which is voice to text and and your op notes for example can will be typed onto that whatsapp message and then you can copy and paste this in your uh, health records so you know next time uh, you are in the ot you don't have to type uh, your op notes even if you don't have a sophisticated device you can speak the notes to the whatsapp secretary it will automatically convert into a text and this text can be copied and pasted onto any other system uh, whatsapp uh, another use is also surveys you know so during covid time there are quick surveys we have done using whatsapp service and the uh, the program app or use you use here is known as doodle so if you have a whatsapp group say of pediatric orthopedic surgeon i create this doodle app make an entry into this say this is a fracture how will you treat this what are the investigations you will do uh, what what fracture is this like, you know there can be questions on doodle and as people answer these questions uh, what happens is uh, you know the choices which people make will come onto this and it gives you a percentage so you know this can be used for quick surveys which can be used for research it can be used for clinical audit also and it can be all done using whatsapp so there are many many uh, uses of app for uh, sending messages and receiving messages niraj has shown us that it can be used uh, to edit your images to edit your videos uh, it can be used uh, as your uh, uh, sort of a mini website when you use whatsapp business uh, it can help you as a secretary it can be your electronic health record system it can be your patient management system you know so a lot of our patients who are staying out of bombay when they want to do a follow up you know the x rays images clinical photos everything can be shared on whatsapp and uh, you know it it allows us to manage patients which are not from bombay so this uh, you know with this will i'll also end my talk and presentation and uh, if uh, there are any questions uh, we can take now can you show your last slide again last slide this one not come yet so what is this this is your emr so this is a program called doodle 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 this is a program called doodle which you can integrate in your whatsapp message doodle and share with the group doodle d o o d l e okay so i have to celebrate today i know something that doesn't know so so this is a doodle is used for various purposes for example it's commonly used by people who want to uh, you know decide to go for a party and you want to decide a date and time and then it will give you various options and people can select those options and doodle will tell you how many people select what options okay so this can also be used uh, for research like this you know the research question apps if you don't want to use google forms this is an option okay school so, so you can make a doodle uh, of yeah so if uh, you know the gauri wants to find out if today's program has been interesting to the attendant she will sh share a doodle little link which says i know i like the program yes or no and she can find out in an instance how many people like the program and how many did not like the program with statistics and graphs gauri you have been silent i'm just trying to understand you can ask us you can ask any question no question is silly <laughs> Hi, Neeraj. Yeah. 
about the video so thing who... i want to ask yes please go ahead yes hello tell yes tell me i can hear you yes yeah. so for this video editing you said no when you send yes. a video it never comes fully it's always in parts so how can we send the video in full so that is way... that is because you have taken a big video maybe in full hd or 4k so what you can do is that first of all reduce the size of the video so there is something called as compress video so you can just compress the size of the video because it uh, whatsapp allows only up to 26 mb of video size that is one option the other option is that you can send it as a document so you select go into instead of sending on whatsapp you send it as a document i'll give you an example like when you open whatsapp just open any chat try to send the video there instead of a video select photo or video ke badle you select the document and when you select the document you select that video so it gives you an option of selecting that video also so if you select that video and send it can send up to 100 megabytes or if you feel that nahi ho raha hai to ek compress video karke ek chhota sa app hai which you can download from the play store or app store just down dump the video in the compress video it will give you a small video of 25 megabyte and that you can send without reducing much of the quality and last option is you can save that video on your dropbox or google drive google drive and yes. then just share a link on whatsapp so that is also fine. that is also yeah, fine. yeah. but uh, you know when you send the video as a document niraj one more advantage is, is it's is the quality of the video is not lost when you share video as a video file the, the whatsapp will compress that video and the quality of the video is lost yes. so you know if you're sh- uh, sharing a video where you don't want to lose a quality yes you want to right. use it as presentation later on share it as a document and not mm-hmm. as a video right okay one more question dr neeraj um uh, wanted to ask if there are any apps available uh, to particularly save patient records or the doctor's prescriptions uh, any particular apps for that yes there are a lot of apps taral and me use different types of apps so i personally use i used to use practo as my main tool i have given it up because of too much commercialization mm-hmm. though i gained a lot from practo because i used to get you will not believe that when i started practo for only i took it as a mainly emr because that time in 2014 that was the only app which was working on mac and windows both mm-hmm. and it also had an app for android and iphone both but uh, as they became more more and more commercial i switched over to something called as docon so in the docon app i docon. save all my records but the other two apps which i have tested and just because of the too much training period to for the staff i don't feel like changing one is the app which is made by a pediatrician only it's called doctors d o c t e r z maybe we can call him in one of those sessions and let him show the app it's a very good app okay it's much more comprehensive than docon and practo okay. and the other one which is made by another doctor who's a physician uh, is uh, docu smart docu smart or doc smart doc smart doc smart doc smart d o c s m a r t both these apps the main purpose is to do provide emr to the doctors and both are made by doctors so they understand what is needed not by companies like docon and practo okay and there is one more app but that is more of orthopedic oriented that is called pixort p i x h o r t but that is only for orthopedics maybe we can have i think this requires one more session where we can have a session dedicated to emrs so demonstration mm-hmm. of electronic medical records of different mm-hmm. companies mm-hmm. okay and uh, different people you know doctors who are using since this program is for doctors by doctors instead of there the company people demonstrating the app we should have doctors actually demonstrating the app and and show you know what they like about what they are using and what they don't like what are the deficiencies mm-hmm. but most of the uh, ehr uh, electronic medical record systems now will also allow you to do research because you know they it's not just for writing a patient prescription it is not just to give an appointment the patient data should be available for you to analyze through that app and which will allow a physician uh, to do audit or research you know for example i have total 200 patients of pediatric fractures you know that app should be able to calculate what are how many supracondylar fracture how many fractures around the elbow 
how many radius on my fracture it should be able to give you give me the epidemiological data it will also tell me this present patients presented to clinic at what time of the day so all these data points uh, should should be allowed and that is possible when the data which feed in is not fed like a paragraph but everything you feed is fed like a data point then the uh, electronic medical record system also becomes a research tool yeah any other questions uh, anandam uh, i think this is it doctor uh, i'm going to ask one question doctor nandini yeah. has a question uh, there is one thing that you had spoken about viewing the photo only once is it available on an android phone also yes, or is yes. it only... if you have to update it to the latest version it is available it's been yes, there yes. for almost 3 4 months now okay okay, okay. dr nandini has a question uh, maybe dr taral can answer it dr nandini do you want to unmute yourself and ask so i'll ask you i use it very commonly when i put this uh, you know when i put uh, x ray for opinion or or for academic discussion and you don't want anyone to copy that x ray in your personal thing you know so we i use this uh, Uh, when i discuss on a pediatric orthopedic group so people will be able to watch it once and second time when they watch uh, they won't be able to it. so they can't copy they can't paste they can't use it for their presentation jan nandini had a question please ask good evening to all we can't hear you ma'am good evening to all yeah yeah we can hear you i wanted to know that uh, uh, uh mobile can sense whatever you are doing so how can you uh, block that you want me to answer that yes please answer yeah so see i'll tell you which may i ask madam which phone do you use i am using samsung android phone yeah so here the comparison is that basically between an android and iphone if i have to choose i will choose an iphone though i also use an android phone samsung is a very good phone uh, so that is the only reason is that okay google if you want to use you have to keep your mic always on that's how they always the phone always knows what you are doing that is one thing so you can keep your mic off there is now a feature in android 12 that you can keep your mic off and the phone will not listen to everything whatever you are listening but however yes that smartphone now knows because it is a smartphone it knows everything about you and uh, there is no privacy in this world that is why there are some settings in all the phones which you can set up like whatsapp privacy i just told you and maybe there are some privacy apps which you can use in the future one tip which i would like to give you is that because all of us use banking on the mobile phone and google pay is that never use it on the public wifi like a hotel wifi or a hot or like a bank or any coffee coffee day or starbucks i don't connect to public wifi is only nowadays for my phone at least i don't connect maybe a laptop i connect but my phones i don't connect to public wifi is like starbucks i will go or any hotel i will check in i will never connect to the wifi you my with my phone my laptop i may connect but that i definitely not connect so avoid that any wifi which does not have a password avoid connecting it to it best is that if you want to use banking the best is your mobile network that is your 4g network which is vodafone airtel or jio whatever you are using use that to do the banking that is always better than anyone or your home wifi nothing else that you can only protect yourself but yes the world of privacy as we know it is changed if you want to use the technology we'll have to give up something Okay thank you thank you madam Okay if there are no more questions can we close the meeting Yeah I think uh, we can uh, conclude this meeting Dr Taral any last uh, comments Is logged out is it
Okay, so we can uh, end this meeting. Thank you so much, Dr. Neeraj Bijlani, for all uh, the doubts that you have cleared for us. I think uh, this uh, subject warrants some more sessions to be kept in the future too, uh, so that we are a little more tech savvy from here onwards. Uh, thank you so much for this session. Uh, and uh, goodbye, everyone. Uh, see you on the last Saturday of next month again. Thank you. Thank you.